Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about dependency graph. In our last class, we discussed about annotated parse tree. This is a continuation class. Please watch that class and come back here. We will use the same example which we discussed previously. Let's refresh the concept of annotated parse tree for uh, 30 seconds. Then we go into the concept of a dependency graph. So this is the context free grammar which we are taking. This is going to elaborate uh, the uh, expression grammar for based on the multiplication. And these are the conditions these are the attributes semantic conditions that we have mentioned and different attributes has been used in our last class we discussed that if you show like this this is what we call it as annotated parse tree for the 3 into 5 multiplication if you are evaluating so the way it is going to evaluate that is shown using dependency graph in this class we are we will understand how this these will be evaluated one important before going into showing of a dependency graph one important point you have to understand whenever you are elaborating t tends to ft dash if you are using top down parsing this is going to go in our top down left most derivation means this is going to evaluate from top to bottom left most derivation so t dot value first first t is evaluated as a ft dash First, f is evaluated, f is expanded. After expanding, digit has been identified. So, the first thing it is going to identify is digit. This three value will be identified. Lex value three will be identified. This is given to f dot value. So, whenever it is going to execute this f, this digit dot lex value is given to f dot value. This is shown in the parse tree like this dependency graph like this. Digit dot lex value is given to f dot value. That's why arrow mark is showing up. This is how we will show the dependency graph. But some important points you have to understand. These important points will be useful in our next classes. So uh, please focus here. It's very uh, it's a bit confusing to understand. So this is how we will show in the dependency graph. Now the important point you have to understand here. See here. F dot value is equal to 3 now. Digit value is passed to F dot value. Now it is going to elaborate this star F T dash. So whenever T tends to F T dash. T tends to F T dash. T dash dot inherited is equal to F dot val means this t dash dot inherited this attribute is going to get value 3 from f dot val the point you have to understand whenever you want to calculate this which one has to be done first f dot value should be there otherwise you cannot calculate t dash dot inherited value so first it has to evaluate f dot value this is the point you have to understand because there are some situations if you write this semantic conditions uh, not in a proper order there are situations uh, where evaluation of the variables is not possible so dependency graph shows the evaluation order of the attributes that are shown in our semantic conditions uh. So we have to be very careful when we are writing these attributes. There are some situations. What's those situations will be discussed in our next class. Okay. So if it has to be evaluated first. Similarly, when you are elaborating this star f t dash. So f is going to elaborate first. Digit dot lex value is given to f dot value. So whenever you are uh, when you are trying to elaborate here here we are going to calculate t1 dash dot inherited value so t1 dot inherited value depends on t dash dot inherited value and f dot value from here from the production so before whenever you want to elaborate uh, calculate this value t1 dash dot inherited so what has to be finished before that f dot value should be available t dash dot inherited value should be available otherwise you cannot calculate t dash dot inherited if you can't calculate this t dash dot t1 dash dot sin cannot be calculated t1 dash dot sin is equal to 
t1 dash dot inherited you cannot calculate this so that dependency is there so how to uh, we have to write condition based on uh, so based on the dependency you should not get stuck in the middle that is how you have to write these variables where the situations the situations where you are going to stuck will be discussed in our next class now coming to the dependency graph this is how it is going to uh, uh, execute this it is given to f dot value f dot value is given to t dash dot uh, inherited after that it is going to exp uh, expand star f uh, t dash f is going to evaluate 5 is given to f dot value then it is going to calculate t dash dot uh, inherited so this value is calculated from uh, the t dash dot inherited is taking values from t dash dot inherited this one f dot value both are taking and it is going to calculate this value is given to t dash dot sin this t dot sin, uh, dot sin is given to this one this is going to give to t dot value this is how our uh, uh, multiplication 3 into 5 will be evaluated this is the dependency graph for our parse tree hope you understand the concept of dependency graph if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you